breaks are the bits you play around the rest of the kit. They're usually used to help a song go from one section to the next. So for instance, going from a verse to a chorus. I'll show you what I mean. Hope of a life spent with you Here I am to worship Here I am to bow We're going to start with a very simple break. I'm going to play it a few times. One and two and three and four E and crack. Try that again. Three, four. One and two and three and four E and crack. Try it along with me. Three, four. One and two and three and four E and crack. Three, four. One and two and three and four E and crack. Two, three, four. One and two and three and four E and crack. Two, three, four. Last time. One and two and three and four E and crack. Now you'll have noticed from the graphics that toms are written as a circle with a dot in it. Low, mid and high, written from low, mid to high points on the five lines. Now you may have noticed that the last bit of that break has a beat in between the four and the and of four. The word that drummers usually give this beat is E. One, two, three and four E and one. You can play a beat on the E of one, two, three, or four, but this break only has it on the E of four. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a crack. Now we're going to try and put that break into the context of our first ever rhythm. The first ever rhythm we're going to play three times, so you've got three bars of that, and then we're going to play the break which conveniently lasts just for one bar. This is how it sounds. One and two and three and four and 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 one. Okay, let's try that together much slower. Three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four E and one and keep going two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and here we go and four and one and two and three and a four E and a one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and ready for the break and four and one and two and Three e and a four e and a last time two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two here we go three and four and one and two and three e and a four e and a one. I suggest you take five minutes just to practice that on your own now and see if you can get it a little bit quicker. Well done. That's the first ever rhythm and break under our belts. And what I'm going to suggest you do is go back to the beginning of this lesson and see if you can play all that we've done with your hands the other way around. What we've been doing is leading with the right. That's having the right hand on the hi-hat, 
and the left hand on the snare, sometimes called cross-handed, obviously, because your hands are crossed over. But what I can suggest you do is you take some time now to go and play everything open-handed, leading with your left hand on the hi-hat and playing your right hand on the snare. The reason that I'm going to suggest you do this is it builds up your left hand and it will really help when it comes to this thing called limb independence, which we'll come to later. So go back now and try all the exercises leading with your left hand. Now when you've done that, try playing along with me for the three bars rhythm and the one bar break, which we're going to do now. Okay. Three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and a four e and a one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one and a two and a three e and a four e and a one and two and three and four and one. Okay, last time. Three and four and one and two e and a three e and a four e and a one. You probably noticed there that sometimes I play the crash cymbal with my right hand and sometimes with my left hand. And again, I'd encourage you to do that because it will really strengthen both hands together.